Good afternoon. My name is Cole. I am uh, with the Kingdom of the Rising Winds, uh, Grand Duchy of Evan March, and today I'm going to go over uh, the Archer Class 101. So, by 101 class, uh, we're not going to be not going to be going into great detail about the Archer Class and every little nuance. That's for another class for another day. Uh, today, we're just going to go over uh, the general archetypes and the general ways that a lot of people play Archer. Um, so, what are my feelings on Archer? Um, I feel the Archer class is a great class if you are uh, very good with a bow, of course. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't use a bow in other classes and, and do great. Um, but, if you're a type of person that necessarily um, doesn't feel comfortable with a sword or anything along those lines, or just wants to expand a repertoire of weapons in Amcart, uh, I highly recommend Archer. Um, so, I myself don't play Archer a ton. I've talked to a lot of people in my kingdom about how to play Archer, and I'm just going to go over a little bit of information. Uh, I may have them on later for uh, more advanced videos, or they may make their own more uh, advanced videos about Archer, um, and get in a little more detail. But, so Archer. So, in my opinion, the Archer class is very interesting in amp guard. Uh, I say that because um, there are a lot of classes that can use a bow, uh, but the archer class is still very different than any of those other classes. Uh, I say that because uh, the archer class is the longest range class in the game that um, it's the longest casting class, you can say, in the game. Uh, so, for the most part in the game, uh, most spells are 20 feet, uh, a few of them are 50, and then of course you have your extension. Um, that will bump anything up to 50. Uh, but pretty much past that, there's not too many other things in this game. Uh, of course, you can use a javelin, uh, you know, if you can throw it past 50, of course you can use light throwies, heavy throwies past 50. Uh, but the Archer class is the class for that, um, as I bring up before, uh, you have your front line, your second line, your third line of, uh, of combatants. Uh, the Archer class is the main class for that third line, that line that is past 100 feet, um, that is on your side of you, that can really, really change the game uh for your side or for the opposing side um because so say me as a warrior um if a archer is on the field i have to play in a completely different way as a frontline fighter than i do if there's not an archer on the field archer can really change um the way everyone has to play the way everyone has to pay attention on the field um me as a frontline fighter as a warrior i have to really pay attention that um, what what is that third line doing? Of course, I'm paying attention to what the front line's doing because I'm fighting them directly. I'm in the front. Of course, I'm paying attention to what the second line's doing, what they're casting at me. But really, if there is a third line back there, it really changes the way I have to think and the way I have to approach everything because they are a hundred feet away from me, two hundred feet away from me. Further, if you're a really good shot or have a uh, maximum power bow in this game. Um, that's a lot of distance I, as a frontline fighter, will have to cross to even get to them. Um, but the, the main thing I think about uh, with archers is the fact that they are uh, the, they can proverbially cast uh, the furthest in this whole game because um, their arrows more or less work like spell balls uh, with the different things they have. So of course they have their standard arrow that any class can shoot. Uh, say assassin, druid, uh, scout. Uh, of course they can have those standard arrows, but then they can also have their specialty arrows. Uh, and that's where this class shines. Uh, because I myself as a healer, sure I can throw in Tangle. Great, that's me playing on the front line, that's me playing on the second line. I can throw in Tangle Ball. It can be very effective. Um, as a archer, you have an engulfing pinning arrow and tangle ball, essentially. 
uh, that you can shoot from 100, 200 feet, however far you can make that shot. Um, that can be very effective um, because on a large group of people, say at a keep on a borderland situation, you have a few hundred people on the field. A person can, you know, I can, I can of course pay attention to the person on the second line throwing a tangle, ice ball, whatever, or a person casting um, some sort of entangle, stop, whatever on me. But how much attention can I really pay to the archer 200 feet away that just turns, snaps, and now I'm stuck there. Um, they, uh, you know, of course they get the sniper ability later where you get uh, a bunch of specialty, <laughs> but that's of course, like I said, for later. Um, but the main thing about, uh, the main thing about that class is um, because they rely on their range so much, uh, of course that could be their downfall. Um, so me, say if I was playing a warrior, six points of armor, heart and weapons, I'm going Florentine. Um, if I am within, uh, if I'm within 50 feet of an archer, there's not a ton that archer can do against me, especially if I have like ancestral armor. Sure, hit off the chest, that's one point. Hit the weapon, heart and weapons. Um, so they really have to play the range game. Uh, it is one of the classes that re requires a lot of running, uh, you know, depending on the type of field you have and the number of people you have, because uh, it's playing a range game. You need to always stay back. Um, archers don't necessarily get casted on too much uh, because you're playing that range game. So that's a real big benefit uh, to playing archer. Um, but the issue with it is, what's your within 50 feet? 20 feet, 10 feet, that archer, you know, of course you can half draw, uh, try to get your shots off, but from there, they're not necessarily the greatest class. Um, I mean, it, it's the nature of the beast with the class. Uh, once you're that close, of course you can have your short swords. I believe you can have, um, oh no, short sword, dagger, bow. Um, yeah, I mean, from that length, you can have your short swords, you can go Florentine. Um, you can still have your two points of armor. So you have essentially a little bit of survivability as if you're like a, say, level one assassin without assassinate. Um, but uh, what I tell a lot of people who first get into the game and they say, I don't want to use a sword, I want to use a bow. What class do you have for me? Um, a lot of people think archer, but there are a lot of other classes uh, that can also play this similar type of role, uh, role that an archer can. Um, that's why I say archer is a great class for long range spell casting. Uh, and then also what I highly recommend for a lot of new people who want to get into archer uh, is use your reload. Um, you are not going to have a ton of specialty arrows. Um, you know, of course, later on, when you start leveling up more and more and more, you can have more special arrows until you get sniper and stuff like that. Um, but you're not going to have a lot of special arrows. I highly recommend people to use reload as much as you can or have a page on the field uh, who's going to go out there and recover those arrows. Um, so the only problem, uh, the only cons I really have with this class is one, in my opinion, it's the most expensive class of Amp Guard because, yes, I like for example, I have a $20 bow, but it's not the greatest. Um, if you want a max poundage bow, you're talking about a decent amount of money. Um, I have just the last year, I've had maybe about six, seven arrows snap in half because, you know, you shoot a few arrows, you pack some people, of course, that arrow is on the ground. The other team starts moving forward. Things happen, things get broken. Uh, I personally make all my arrows modular, so I can just take the actual arrow head off of the shaft, and I can throw away the shaft, get a new shaft, put the arrow back on, um, put the arrow head on there. So, in my opinion, it's one of the most expensive classes. Uh, it's one of the harder classes if you're the type of person to make your own equipment. Um, arrows can be very fickle. 
if you're not very good at making uh, arrows, you know, it could uh, have too much dip in one way, inconsistency in the way they're being built, so it's a little harder to shoot, no, that's actually going to go in the right direction every single time. Uh, there's a lot of small issues you can have with this class. Um, but what I always recommend is, of course, try. If you need to buy arrow, buy them. But I always recommend have a cheap bow and have some arrows because you can always not just play archer, you can play other classes with that bow also. Um, but either way, um, but either way, that, that's pretty much all I have for that class. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be a giant class. Uh, later, we'll go over a um, little more details about the class and how it's played, pros and cons, what to do in X, Y, Z situations. Um, but we're going to go over that in, in later classes. So I've been Cole uh, with the Kingdom of the Rising Winds, Grand Duchy of Evan March, and keep on fighting.